back to my channel today is going to be a really exciting video at least i think it's exciting because this video is going to be uh, a mexico haul uh what i got while i was traveling in mexico video haul so this video is going to be a mixture of stuff i got at like forever 21 plumber bashka those stores like normal stores sephora uh, and then it's going to be a few bits that i got at like um <laughs> at markets and stuff okay i'm going to start with a few of the more like mexico stuff one of the most exciting things that i got at a market it's called it's one of the most famous markets it's uh el mercado el mercado de artesanias de ciudadela i think and it's huge uh, and it is this blanket, or you can use it as anything you want. And I can stand up so that I can show you better. Here I am. You can stand all the way back here. It's huge. It got this, like, what do you call it? Riffles? Ruffles? Uh, at the end and then it's all these nice like I would call this classic bold Mexican colors so yeah I really love the colors of this um I think that this is hand uh, woven handmade handmade um and I think that it's a mixture between um, a mixture between cotton and cactus fibers or um, agave fibers or something and I got this for uh, 425 pesos another thing that I got at the same market is this backpack um it's really simple it's got a string <clears throat> string that you tighten and then this flap around here but if the backpack is quite full i find that this one just flaps around uh so i think i'm going to have a bit um have a button or something here just so that it lies nicely uh, it has a pocket here with a zipper. Uh, nothing too big. I have some headphones here. Uh, yes, and then it's just one big room inside. Uh, like so. And the straps are not adjustable, which I think is a bit of a shame. Um, I think the backpack is a bit long and the straps are a bit too long, so... I find it that the backpack hangs uh, a bit too low on my back and on my bum uh, but I love it I think it's really pretty I like that it's that it's got this white background and then it's just a whole lot of yarn in all the different colors of the rainbow and zigzagged all over the back there's a close-up so I'm a bit nervous by using it but I have been using it and I do love it to pieces and I think this was like 120 pesos so that one also one of my greatest buys so let's see if I can throw it at another market not the same but another market place it's part of the city and of course i'm talking about mexico city um where the frida Kahlo Muse museum is but i got a pinata how freaking amazing is this pinata it's so cute and my most sad thing is 
I don't know if you can hear that, but there's no sound. So I don't really think that there are any candy inside of my piñata, but then I think that seems it's already had a hole here. Oh, I, mean, I can take my hand in. Then I can shove some candy inside through this hole, and then I do have a working piñata that has candy. But anyways, I think it's really fun. And this was... Uh, 40 pesos so then again I think I would love to have a bigger one but then again I did have some problems closing my suitcase and uh, if you've seen one of my oldest videos you'll know that I collect postcards and maps so this is a postcard that I got this is a postcard from not from Mexico City but from Teotihuacan this is the pyramid of the sun and yeah vlogs from this place is coming I also got myself a map from Teotihuacan this I didn't buy this at Teotihuacan but at the anthropological museum in Mexico City this was 35 so here it has some explanation for um places on the map i think because if you turn around like so this is map of teotihuacan um that is the pyramid this is the pyramid of the sun which is uh, the pyramid that we saw on the postcard this is the pyramid of the moon this is the avenue of the dead and this is the ciudadela uh, or main square and the temple or pyramid of Quetzalcoatl which is the serpent no what you call the feathered serpent and uh, so all these pyramids are pyramids that the Aztecs used but this is not built by the Aztecs it's built by another people that lived a thousand years before the Aztecs and we don't know what these pyramids were called or the avenue but the Aztecs I uh, believe that the the world had been created, the world and the sun and the moon had been created in this city called Teotihuacan, uh, which means the city of the gods or the city where the gods became, uh, where the gods created the earth or where the men become gods, something like that. Uh, so they thought that the biggest pyramid should be the pyramid of the sun, the smallest, the pyramid of the moon, and then avenue of the dead. Then since um, I know if I've said, but I'm doing my master's degree in history about the Aztecs, so that is why I went to Mexico City and traveled to Puebla and Cholula and to Teotihuacan um, to see some of the pyramids and the gods. So, at <laughs> well, the first market that I talked about, I also got these two. Uh, these are drawings of two of the Aztec gods two of the Aztec gods that I talk about mostly in my uh, thesis uh, I do talk about three um, three I talk about Tlaloc but I couldn't find uh, like these drawings of Tlaloc this one here uh, is supposed to be the god fit the Vitzlopochle, which is the uh, Aztec's own god. This is the god Quetzalcoatl, which is the feathered serpent. As you can see, he has a serpent or snake in his hair and he has some feathers. So yeah, these two, they were 180 each. Another Aztec thing that I got, this is not uh, from a market, this is from the museum shop of the anthropological museum. It looks like this is shiny. This is the Aztec calendar stone, or a picture of the Aztec calendar stone or the sun stone, as it's as it's also called. If I open this now, I have some papers. 
is this one. This is also this old kind of paper. Uh, so this is what paper would have looked like during the Aztecs, I guess, because this is um, my name in Aztec or in Nahuatl. This is how the Aztecs would have said my name. Uh, these pictures. Um, and the name isn't like a normal name. Uh, you get a name from the date you are born. I also got some really expensive chocolates. Uh, yeah, the, the calendar name was, or was it 130 pesos, I think? And then for like 100 pesos each, I get these two chocolates. Uh, these are called chocolate, which is uh, chocolate is derived, the, the English word chocolate is derived from the Nahuatl word. Nahuatl is the, the language of the Aztecs, so chocolate, key chocolate, I think it's called. It's like a brand of chocolate that's supposed to be like Aztecs used. And these are ch sugar free. These are sugar free, and that's why I got them. They did have some cooler chocolates with like chilies and all st sorts of stuff. But I opted for the sugar free one because I can't have sugars uh, mostly. So I got one that's um, milk chocolate, which I've already eaten, even though I can't have milk. It was really delicious, and then this is more like uh, a classic one uh, because this is dark chocolate. So these are some shoes. Um, yeah, these are from the store CNA. Um, they were like 200, 250 pesos. So. Yeah, that's really the only reason I got them. I thought they were cute. They're white with black polka dots. I also got a couple of uh, jeans, not jeans, but trousers or pants, I guess. From let's just see, from the store Pull and Bear. Pull and Bear. I got first. I got these like. What is it called? Olive green, brown. It looks more brown right now, but it's like a military olive green color. Um, and this was supposed to be like push up for your butt or something. I think that these, this one, you're supposed to do something for your butt. I don't know. Uh, they were like. 300 pesos maybe and I just wanted some new pants trousers so I got them down in Mexico I didn't have too many like t-shirts with me and uh, so for 100 pesos I think I got this t-shirt which I think is really cute um oh my god I find that these are kind of aztec prints I thought they were real cool. They are just some soda cans and they are like um, some natural good color and I did roll up the sleeves because I really like that style rolled up sleeves. So yeah these were in the sale. Good colors, good patterns, kind of cute but still t-shirt. Then I've been wanting a kind of light denim and also I've been loving those new like ugly denims with like paint splats on them and that they're embroid have some patches on them and the one with like the ending are all cut up and thrown into pl places um and i didn't really find anyone uh that i loved or that was cheap but this one was 300 maybe 400 pesos and actually the other pants might also be in that uh, but yeah I got this one these are really distressed and have a lot of holes in them um, I'm gonna 
not too sure what this style is called. They are loose uh, on the end. This might be one of those mom jeans. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, I've just been rolling. I've been rolling up. I've rolled up the sleeve, the the ankles. I rolled up. Um. Yeah, so they are tight at the front, or at the waist they are tight, or, and they can be worn a bit tight. I also got another thing from Forever 21 that I love, and that I also think were like 400 pesos. It's this ugly bag, which I really love. This is like a heavy chain. And then you have this semi see through bag um, in like plastic. The last thing I have, oh, not thing, the last things that I have to show you um, are some liquids. Firstly, I can show you this. How do we? This, this is a hot sauce. This is Cholula Hot Sauce Original. The last things are tequila! Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this, but um, yeah, I actually get two bottles of tequila. This one, this is like a white or see-through one i'm not too sure i think they're called white in mexico and this one is a brown um and i'm going to celebrate my 25th birthday soon and then i'm going to have a lot of tequila for everyone to try uh, and then the last one is this one this is actually this need to be shaken um let's see this one is called Mesquil, mesquil pal. Um, and this one is like one of those already mixed drinks. So this is 14%, and it says it's liquor with fruit 100% natural. So this, um, I'm not too sure. This one is just something that I saw in, um, in the duty free at the airport, and I thought, oh, this will be cool because um, tequila is made from agave and. You can also make something called mezcal, which is like the same thing, but not really. It's from a different kind of agave plant, I, I think. So I just thought this was was something to do with that. Um, and it says then the ingredients are water, sugar, concentrated natural tamarind um, juice. And I think tamarind is one of those like citrusy fruits. And then it's... Um, this distilled um agave and something so that's what makes me think that yeah so i'm, I'm not too sure if this one is supposed to be like a shot uh, like a 15 percent shot that's not too strong or if it's supposed to be like mixed with something else i'm not too sure i, I, I have to google it for my two youngest sisters i got the same I got the same for both of them, as well as I got myself. Oh, you already seen this. I got these two. So yeah, of course I don't know what they will think of it. Because I thought it was really cool to be able to know what your name was. Or would be your Nasdaq. But that might just be me then. I love history and I love, like those quirky stuff. I would love to have... My name written in um, Egyptian hierog hieroglyphs and stuff like that. So I don't know what they will think about it. If they think it's cool or if they just think it's stupid and they would want something more physical like just a shirt or a top or something from a store. But yeah, that is what I got them this time anyways. For the last sister, I guess, I got her two things. Two? Two things. Firstly, <clears throat> this is also kind of the same as one thing I've already shown you, and oh, my fingers, 
And that is the piñata! So this one isn't as cool, I think. <laughs> I got the best one for myself. This is a piñata with, this is supposed to be Minnie Mouse. Um, she's had a rough time on the flight over from Mexico. Uh, but I still think she's cute. And yeah, still don't know. I still don't think there's um, any candy inside. But cool. They are small. And so I, I, I would do... I would have loved, loved, I would have loved to be able to have a huge piñata and of course I would love to have both like the standard piñata type but this was the only thing they had left but I still think it's kind of cute and still is a piñata. The last thing I got her is this. This is a sombrero with a tequila glass and a small bottle of tequila so I know that she hates tequila but I mean can you really go to Mexico and not buy tequila? I don't think so so yeah <clears throat> even though she won't drink this this is like a cool Mexican thing I think yeah I don't really think that shot glass is really cute as well for my dad I got my dad because he's really hard to buy for I find so I got him a shirt and it's this one this is a, like a button-up shirt with a collar and I really love the colors that uh, that has this small button here. Oh, and it actually has one in the back as well. Cute! Uh, yeah, it's button down. It's got just these short sleeves, which has this detail here. And what I love most is that it is quite out there <laughs> in weird got navy and uh, navy and yellow mustard I guess you would call it navy and mustard triangles on it and I really love it and I think so while I was away it was also Mother's Day here in Norway I wanted to buy her something nice and Mexico is known for its silver so I went into some silver stores or, or uh, jewelry stores and wanted to see if I could find her some jewelry. She doesn't really use that much jewelry, but I thought it was the best thing I could think about and not just get her a sweater or something. So I actually ended up getting her a necklace. It is a necklace in silver of two girls, so it could be like a mom and a daughter. Oh, and I also got her some a little uh, also because she is fond of Baileys in her coffee not in her coffee like normal but <laughs> she likes Baileys in coffee and I found these which are Baileys filled chocolates but she's not really a chocolate kind of gal though I have already eaten like most of it still three left so I thought I would give it I thought I would give that to her to see what she thinks just as a little fun extra gift okay I almost forgot that I had one last thing that I got and this is this one how cute is this this is a wallet and I am absolutely in love with it it was like 160 pesos I think was it even that much? I'm not sure. But it's like white and mint green um, on the edges. Oh, here it is. Mint green on the edges and then there's some cacti. Is that what it's called, right? There's one cactus, two cacti or several cacti. So yeah. And some pink cards. And yeah, I'm already using it. So 
you got a lot of places for your coins, for your cards, and all kinds of stuff. Can't remember what the store was called, but it doesn't matter. I hope you like this video. I hope you find it interesting to know what you can get in Mexico. I know that some of the stuff that I got are like normal stuff, but some things like tequila. How can you not go to Mexico and buy tequila? Um, so yeah, I I hope this was interesting. It was like a mixture of normal stuff, normal clothes that you get in normal stores, and then like something more like Mexican stuff that I get at uh, like uh, some stuff that I get at the museum stores, and then some stuff that I get in like local markets. And I think that's really cool. So please do leave me a comment down below with what your favorite things, um, what your favorite thing were. 